Hello, thank you so much for connecting on time, Emma. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Can you listen to me? Yes, I can. And I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And how do I do? Okay, that's great to hear. Emma, I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for asking too. Okay, so welcome. Today is our, uh, actually it's our last class. I was confused yesterday. I thought it was going to be until tomorrow, but I was checking yesterday's, uh, I was checking yesterday's, you know, um, what list, and I found out that uh, today is the last class. So I thought that it was going to be until tomorrow, but it's actually today, you know, our final uh, class, and, and, and I'm like, um, well, here to help you out, help you out with, um, with um, the final test, if it is necessary. So let me start by asking if you have already maybe attempted to complete the test, the final test, Emma, or in well, or are you guys still pending on that? No, well, in my case, I finished. You uh, finished? Yes, uh, well, last week, because I, this week I have exams for the university, so I, I, so I won't have free time next week. So I did it before so basically you already finished yes and how about you Joel? how are you doing with the test final test good evening teacher good evening um i'm not sure maybe i'm in the 90 percent but do we have to finish to 100 percent the platform or just 90 <laughs> because there are about uh, one or two exercises that i didn't get it and, and I've been a, li a little bit busy this, this day and the previous days, so I haven't finished a couple of them. Mm -hmm. And do you, uh, would you like to go over them? Do you know the exact number of exercises that you... Yes, uh, uh, right now I'm opening the, the, the platform, so if you give me some, some minutes, I'll yeah. be maybe asking you for help. That'll be great, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Do it. And how about you, Angie? How are you doing with the test? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Um, I done all the platform. So, so but yes. mm -hmm. okay, but uh, Jefferson and Sammy, uh, he can be in the class because uh, tomorrow he's going to have a, a university exam. And he need to start. And he sent me if you uh, apologize about that. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, no problem. I understand that. But it's, it's really important that you guys complete the test as of today. There's no option that you will have after midnight because uh, they are closing the platform. Do you know, Angie, if if he already finished the test or is he still pending on that activity? If if Jefferson finished the, the platform? Mm -hmm. You know, if he yeah, finished? Yeah, yes, he say me he, he finished the platform. I think he finished the platform at Sunday. So he finished it already, I can see. So he said that to you. All right, uh, good. And then you are completed. Emma is completed. Joel is just checking some uh, details on some specific exercises. And I don't know how are the other, the other ones doing because today is the last class and it's also the last day for uh, this test completion. So we have to finish it today. I'm going to wait for Joel some exercises and then we're going to start with the last uh, class in a couple of minutes. Okay, hopefully the other guys are going to connect. Yes, Joel. My computer is really, really, really slow in this moment, and it is now opening the Google Chrome to open the platform and the, and the, the page. So maybe if you want, you can do the last worries. I'll figure it out in the following minutes. Mm, okay, I see. Yeah, in case you know it works, or in case it start working properly, and we are in the middle of the class, and you want to 
interrupt me, no problem. Just do it and we go ahead and check, you know, at that time. Okay. So guys, today we have uh, this uh, what class, which is last topic on the platform. Let me start sharing the screen. One second. Screen is here. So today, class 16. So actually yesterday when I saw class 15, it was 15, but I was not convinced. I thought it was gonna be until tomorrow, but it's actually today, so it's all right. So 16 and we have, uh, this is the last class, so it's four classes per week. This is week number four, four times four, this is 16. So, and we're gonna start with this quick question because today we're going to study how to use with, um, how to use classes with when and if for expectations, okay? So that's gonna be it. Maybe you have already seen it. I don't know if you saw this picture on the videos and this is my first question. And I would love to hear every one of you. Know, of you. We are five people. Let's see, uh, we have Emma, Joel, Jose, Angie, four. So let me start with Angie. Angie, what are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Uh, shake my hand, <laughs> shake our hands, um, talk about us. But the video uh, said about don't kiss in the first date. Nice, I like to hear that. <laughs> One thing, because I, I like your answer. Second, because that tells me that you, you watched the video. That's the idea, okay? All right, let's see. Yeah. Next one, I wanna hear everyone. Emma, your own ideas. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? And do you mean my answer about that question? Right? <laughs> yeah, why not? Hey, okay. Well, um, I don't think that in, I mean, in a first date, just let me see the instruction because I forgot it. And I see it just heard. Well, in my in a first date, I don't, I don't suppose. It, it's about the idea that we saw yesterday, right? It's um, not, not exactly yesterday's structure. We're gonna study a new one today using when and if plus uh, another ideas, another structure that I'm gonna give you. Just use your own ideas, your own like simple uh, structures or any um, idea that comes to your mind to answer this question. So what are you supposed to do when you go out on, on a first date? Okay, well, when I go out in a first date, I don't supposed to kiss everyone because I don't think that is a good idea, but when I go out, either the first, second, either day, either date, and it when someone is talking, it's important to uh, wait while the other person is talking about something, and that's really important in the first day and the other date, and if they continue going out. See, it. okay. A uh, quick question for you, Emma. Not on the same line. Maybe not on not the same question, but not the same question that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, what do you think about blind date? Well, I have never had one, but it depends of the the way it depends on the reason. I mean, if one of my friends make the plan about that, I have to think who did it because I have different kind of friends and I know that if it is my 
sincere and I don't like, I mean, I won't have a blend date with that was planned by my joking friend because I don't like that. And if I had a plan, plan date, I would like to have one with someone that it's like completely different of me because I don't like to work with person that I'd like that I they are the same like me in the other way and answer answer your answer I mean I I want to answer your question but I have many ideas in my brain and I think it's And it depends, That's, uh, it depends on the friend who planned that. Okay, so that's your point of view about this topic, right? I see, well, blind dates. Any, anybody who agree or disagree on this, um, I don't know, way of maybe meeting new people? Anybody, have you ever had any blind dates? or you don't even think about it, or what's your case? Let's see, uh, I would love to hear Angie. So Angie, what's your um, insight about this? Why me? <laughs> I don't know, I, 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 feel like, I feel like, I don't know, you have something to tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I have so, uh, some blind day. Wow. Um, <laughs> yes, but um, some, someone, um, what I, 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 um, was being good. I don't know if I say, cor if I say correctly. Can you say it again, please, Angie? Some some dates uh, was being good. It's okay. Um, some, day, uh, some day have been good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And another uh -huh. one's no. <laughs> mm -hmm. And another one's no. But um, I think uh, with, with the violence of our country, it's not good to do that. Because you don't know um, uh, what person is is be with you in that in that moment. I strongly agree with your comment, Angie. In in this be beautiful and secure country, right? We're not supposed to be doing all those things. That is a great perspective. Okay because of the security and safety, whatever you wanna call it, you know, situation in here. Well, thank you so much, let's move on. So we're gonna discuss about uh, this structure. What are you supposed to do when, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have, uh, this is the answer, as you said it, Angie, that is on the video, You're, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her on a first date, right? That's not, something that we are you know, expected to do. All right, let's move on. And we're giving this structure and this is today's topic, okay? And I would love to hear Jose. Jose, can you please help me by reading the first idea with when and, and these two uh, compliments here, please? Yes. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. And when you visit someone, you aren't supposed to arrive early. This is the formula we are looking for. to start talking about expectations, guys. When, and then you have subject, verb, and complement. Plus, we have uh, our, well, second clause, which is the result or uh, the outcome. It is the custom two. This is one idea or the bird to be, which is uh, B plus supposed to. In this case, we can see that, that it is in negative, right? When you visit someone, you subject aren't supposed to arrive early, right? And then that is the formula. 
without showing the formula, because I know that you might have seen it already, can you please try to create uh, one idea, one example on your own? Just follow what we have here. When you do this, and then use maybe this supposed to, or maybe you want to use this other idea, the custom to, bear to be plus this complement. What ideas come to your come to your mind about this topic? Anybody, please. Maybe you want to use a chat and send me your acquires your I don't know sentences in on the chat or maybe open your mic and speak. I'll give you two minutes for this activity. When use when and the complement. There's a sound that says when you love, when you love, uh, when you love a woman or something like that. So what other scenarios can you think about? Aha, uh -huh, Emma, please share. When you study something, you aren't supposed to use your social networks. I like it. When you on you when you study something else, yeah, because that, you know, the structure, right? That affects. Okay, good one. I like it. Let's see. Anybody else? Any other question? Any other idea that you, that you want to share? I don't know, but well, mm -hmm. when you are new in in work, uh, I don't know if it's in all case, but it's the custom to boy for for all coworkers that uh, people call a snake, la snake, la culebra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember when you are a new when you are the new. Uh, what personnel the, the new guy at work yeah <laughs> okay yeah that is true right and they say first check on the first yeah check. first <laughs> check okay i can see yeah that's a good one thank you so much makes sense when you have online classes you're supposed to have an <laughs> it is supposed you have to have a notebook yes okay that's all that is a good one and to be writing, you know, ideas down, okay? I have heard three uh, ideas and we are eight, plus me. So what about the other ones? What do you think? Angie, what do you have? When you know someone for the first time, you aren't supposed to, to make uncomfortable questions. Uncomfortable question, yeah. Too personal, right, information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's like like the video we saw yesterday in their <laughs> personal their privacy okay great we have like four ideas anybody else who want to share you see that are really nice ideas that you are sharing and that makes it really interesting anybody else if uh, there isn't any what about if we see the other structure we have if if you like very similar if you and then you are expected to, you are supposed to, it's not acceptable to. We have three other structures. Maybe we, we want to choose the one that we feel more comfortable with. And then you want to share one idea. If you, the example is if you bring someone, uh, you are supposed to check with the blah, 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 right? So what other ideas come to your mind with the same structure?
if you invite someone to eat out, you are expected to pay the bill, right? Or depends. <laughs> if you if you enroll to <laughs> like let's say you are expected to have your camera on all <laughs> the time. Okay, so what are your examples? Any other idea that comes to your mind? Ideas, Angie, what have you written? What do you have? Emma, Jose, don't be so quiet. Reina is here, Evelyn, come on. Daniel, participate well. If you, if you what? Uh -huh, well, go ahead, please. I made, I made two sentences. Go if ahead. you want to go diving, you are supposed to be in good shape. That's one. And the second, if you want to have a lot of friends, you aren't supposed to be shy. Two, uh, two really good ones, exactly. Nice. But even in making new friends, you're supposed to be really sociable, right? I see. Great. Any other? Evelyn, what do you have? Raina, what do you have? Daniel, come on. Share, please. Angie, tell us, what are your ideas? If you want to go out with someone, it's not acceptable to, know, to not have money with you. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> you just reminded me about a meme that I saw on social network. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, Emma, what do you have? If you drink a lot of alcohol at night, it's not acceptable to drive. Okay. Yeah, it's not acceptable to drive, right? Okay. You aren't supposed to puke. <laughs> okay, great. I want to hear one last example because there are some other things that I want to do today. One more, last one, please, anybody? No? Okay, I want everybody to participate. This is our last class and, and we might never see us again. So come on, so participate. This is the formula, okay? I see you already like uh, know the formula because you are using it correctly, which is really cool. Uh, we, we can have a when or the if clause, which is you know what we've been like practicing in a way. And this is the way it works. When you visit someone, you are supposed to arrive early. And I want to use this in context. That's why I brought you these guys. And I want everybody to participate. We are gonna think about some stuff that you are not supposed to do in each of these scenarios, okay? We have librarian, uh, teacher, officers, for traffic, policemen, and parents, okay? So let's start with the first one. I want to hear like many ideas. So um, imagine you are the librarian, okay? And you want to tell me wha what I'm not supposed to do, okay? So what will you say to me? And that's one way to see it, okay? And, or maybe we can think about uh, some structures where we want to, um, express any idea um, that you as a, libra as a librarian are not supposed to do. That's different because something is, is what you are not supposed to do. And the other is some, something that you expect others not to do, right? That's the that's second role. That's one. Second thing is the teacher. So if you were the teacher, what would you tell me that I'm not supposed to do? And if you're the teacher, what is something that you as a teacher are not supposed to do? I don't know if it makes sense. 
and as a police officer. Okay, think about those ideas that you can tell someone that he or she is not supposed to do and what is your role, okay, and so on and so forth with traffic policemen and parents. So for this activity, I want to help you by giving you some more information and I want you to help me before I let you guys work on this. Let's take a look at the next idea, okay? Let's see, um, Daniel, can you please read the next idea? Take a look at this one. Can you read it, please? Read it for, for us. Only read. Okay. You're not supposed to bring books back late. Okay, thank you so much. So to which, um, let's see, scenario, the ones that I gave you previously, this idea best fits. Librarian. Librarian. Good, very good. So let me give you some more information. What about this one? Let's see, Jose. Can you read this, please? You're not supposed to sell that book. I like that yeah, one. That's a good one. Yeah. You're not supposed to take more than three books. Okay, really good. So that is for library, well. right? As well. What about this one? Oh, same thing, right? But I want you to read it. Let's see. I want somebody, somebody else to read it. Gustavo, can you read the next idea? You're not supposed to talk in this library. Exactly. So that is you telling uh, the visitors, right? One more. Let's see, Emma. Can you read this one? You're supposed to have finished that compos composition by today. By today. Still the same, same category. I want to give you one more. Let's see. Okay, this one. Let's see. I want to hear Joel, please. You're supposed to get to class at exactly 9 a.m. Which uh, scenario in the, for this one? I'm sorry? Which one is the role or what is the scenario that best fits on this idea, the ones that I gave you previously? We have librarians, we have what uh, others? Yes. Would, yes. This, would this be for librarian or for any other category? I don't remember to be yeah. honest with you. <laughs> let, me go, let, me, let me go back because I want you to think. There are many things that we can say, but I want you to think about this ones. We have librarian, teacher, police officer, traffic, uh, policeman, and parents. So that one belongs to? Teacher. Teacher, exactly. So I gave you some ideas on what I want you guys to work on. So please uh, write these down, write these options, and I want you to work in, in, in like in pairs and brainstorm some other ideas, okay? For librarian, for teacher, and so on, okay? This is what you're gonna be doing in the next uh, maybe uh, 10 minutes, the most, because it is 8.30, okay? So please write it down, librarian, teacher, police officer in general, and then we have traffic policemen and parents. Okay, first step, you brainstorm some ideas that you're not supposed to do. Second, second step, I want you to picture the scene, picture how you can use uh, the complete structure that we are studying with when and if, and use it in a conversation where you are playing the role of the librarian or the teacher or the other roles that we are as of now uh, being given, okay? So I'm gonna give you some time and please make sure you use the time wisely because we don't have much the last uh, half an hour. And um, I'll bring you guys back maybe depending on how you guys are progressing on the activity, because I still want to know if you have any question about the, the, the test, which was you know, uh, the main topic for today. I already asked some of you and the ones who were early said they don't have any questions. There were some questions, but at the end, uh, Joel said that he was going to try to figure it out by himself. 
But anyways, guys, uh, let's work on this activity, please. I'm gonna give you, let's see, it's 8 or 8.31, maybe like five or, or, or a little bit more time for you to work on this activity. Here we go, I'm going to create, let's see, three groups only because we are eight. Three groups, here we go. So, ideas, some ideas, second, see how you can use these ideas in a conversation, playing the role, here we go. About teacher who could be you are supposed to do your homework? Yes. Okay. What about you, Jose? What are you? I I was thinking about uh, you you must be quiet but in library. Okay. The teacher, the teacher not supposed to do invent the topics. You were this. You're not supposed to invent topic. Uh -huh, invent topics. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahora con library and police officers and traffic policemen. Eh, the, in, the, ¿Y cómo iniciáramos? You're not or library? No, the library? You're, no you're not supposed to. And, and I don't know. ¿En qué momento metemos lo, library, teacher, police officer? No, it's one, uh, like one example for each one. Just for, uh -huh. for each one, for one for library, one for teacher, one for police officer. Pero no quiere decir que vayamos a incluir en la oración library o teacher. Eh, como no, una en cada una. O sea, vaya, pero vaya, ¿cuál sería la, la primera? ¿Cuál era entonces? 
la de bibliotecario está, la de library está, la de teacher ya la acabamos de hacer. Vaya, pero ¿cómo sería? ¿Ya estructurado? ¿Sería? You're eh, not supposed to do, así de un solo, sin you're meter not este. Supposed, sí, sí, sí. Sin meterla, por eso te decía yo, sin meter la palabra teacher. No, porque ya se supone que está antes, o sea, eso ya lo. Ajá. Oh. Ok. The police officer sería, en este caso sería, you're not supposed to do any esquela, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Qué es el teacher? No, no es el teacher, quizá. Sí, yeah. yeah, I'm here, I'm here, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, teacher. Come on, man, estamos? I'm listening to you. Yo aquí escuchándole, creo que yo quería como, piense que como están compartiendo pantalla, quería darle mm -hmm. yo para ver, no me dejaba ver dónde estaba mi micrófono. And actually, uh, vaya, una esquela es un ticket. Ticket. Ah, ticket, yeah, Pero, yeah, pero yeah, también ticket. se puede decir fine, fine, como fine. una multa. Ajá, como fine, ah, fine, una multa. Ok, solo ah, elíjanse, yeah, yeah. solo el, only choose one, porque si no agarramos todo el escenario, vamos a tardar ah. tres horas. Pero ya veo que están poniéndole ganas, así hay día. Entonces elíjanse uno y eh, sería chivo que make up a conversation, ¿verdad? Imagínense, you're speeding up uh, rápido, like on the road, and all of a sudden there's a, there's a checkpoint on the road, y ahí vamos, es, hacen la conversation between a driver and a police officer. So, just think about that. Ah, okay, teacher. Right, right. Very good. Ah, okay, good teacher. Gracias, right. teacher. All right. That's a good one. That's really a good one. And we finished. Yes. We finished all awesome. the words. Awesome. And have you chosen one scenario or do you have one for all of them? One conversation? One for all of them. Yeah, like that. Wow, that's awesome. I want to hear them because uh, the other groups are still working on each of the ideas. And then, okay, great. If you have one conversation for each one, that'll be great. So I will go and check, you know, last wait. The details. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. We have we haven't done a, a conversation for each of them. Mm. We just talk about creating sentences using yeah. uh, the we create sentences. The majors. I, but I know you guys can improvise a conversation with those sentences. I know you have let's see Jose, Evelyn, and Joelia. You can do it. And then think about how you can use it or how you can start using these sentences into a conversation. I imagine, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, you are speeding up in your car. And all of a sudden, there's a checkpoint on the road, and then you start in a discussion. It's, it's you know, it started between a uh, traffic policeman and the driver. And, you know, you can just make a conversation up based on any of these scenarios. But if you don't like that one, maybe a teacher and a student or maybe a librarian with uh, one of its guests or visitors. So the point is, if you don't have, maybe you want to share one, uh, let's say one or, or as many sentences you have for each scenario, but then I want you to choose one to talk about it using a conversation model, okay? That was just gonna be it. So if you don't have it, if you still want to you know, have it ready, I'm going to give you maybe one more minute and then we're going to go back to the main session so we can socialize what we have talked in the rooms, okay? Hey, thanks. All right, very good. So think about the conversation then. This meeting is being recorded. Yes. We we can use the last name. Okay, I can. Because yeah, because yeah. we have to supposed to be working in in the school. You're right. And so after that, I will call you and I will tell you 
uh, Miss Rodriguez, I already talked with, with their parents and they are going to return the books tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I think I think uh, we have the conversation. Yes, we have. Awesome. That's the point. <laughs> I suppose. That's the point. What? You are supposed to have a conversation ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're supposed to have the conversation. All right. right. Yeah. We're going to go back then to the main session. I'm going to invite all of you guys to join the main session in a minute. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, I think you guys are ready to share nice ideas, nice ideas I know they're about to, to be said. Before we start sharing, guys, do you have, I saw Angie's messages on the group, and is there any other question or anything that I can help you with in regards to this test? Or are you okay, Angie, or who was asking here? I, there's one person. I don't know. I, I don't know who asked, but I help. I yeah, help I can see. you helped already. Yeah, I can see. Any other guys? Like, any other question that you might have on the test? No questions. No or nothing in here. No. Okay. Before you start, um, take a look at these ideas. We have some others in here. Angie, you're supposed to keep your dog on a chain on this area, which uh, is the best scenario, you think? Teacher, librarian, police. Uh, we, use, we use the librarian, the parents, and the teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and can you read this one? Number one. You are supposed to keep your dog on a chain in this area. Okay, which one do you think is the best um, scenario? Teacher, librarian, police officer. Um, police officer. Mm, okay, how about this one, Emma? Can you read it, please? 
You're not? You're, yes, you're not supposed to play loud music after midnight. Okay, what is the best option for the ones given? Maybe parents. Parents, okay. I like. yeah. how, how about this one, Joel? Can you read number three? This is... Okay, this is private land. You're not supposed to be here. How does it sound? Which one is the best choice? About the previous categories. Categories, yes. Um, I don't know, maybe police officer, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Would it be? Yeah, what about this, Jose? Look at this one. Number four, this is like a four, I thought it was a... Okay, You're... you are supposed to keep to a uh, 50 meters per hour speed limit here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Traffic, traffic person. Traffic. Well, Policeman, okay, I can see. Yeah, Traffic policeman. Yeah, this is 50 miles per hour, right? And then how about this one? We'll finish with this one and then I'll let you guys talk. What about this mm -hmm. one? Let's see. Uh, this one's, let's see uh, who has participated. I want you to read it. Please, Daniel, next one. This one, tell me, read it and then tell me which is the best option. Number one. Yes. You're supposed to have number plates on the back of your car. Which is the best option for you? You're supposed to have number plates on the back. Plates, what is plate, teacher? Plates, uh, well, it, when you see car, what does it tell you? Like car, number, plates on the back of your car, any idea that comes to your mind? Placa. Mm -hmm, exactly. Very good. That's the one. Uh, la placa. Mm -hmm. Number plates on the back. Mm -hmm. oh, ah, it's the police, police, police officer. Traffic, right? Okay, okay. good. Let's see. Uh, next one. One. Tick, one, one tick for me. Ticket for me. <laughs> A ticket for you. Yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> Pay it. <laughs> Pay the ticket. Okay, I see. Uh, let's see. Evelyn, read the next one, please. Only read it. Number two. You are not supposed to park there. Okay. Yeah, I think it's obvious. Gustavo, next one, please. You're supposed to have cleaned your room yesterday. Okay, you're supposed to have clean. For pardon. Parents, right? Parents, cleaned, 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 cleaned your room yesterday. Don't forget that, Gustavo. You're supposed yeah. to have cleaned the sound. And then the last one, Emma, help us with the last one. You're not supposed to eat anything before your dinner. How does it sound? Well, I think our parents do. Yeah, parents. All right, Re really good. Guys, okay, now uh, some ideas, right? Now I want you to share your ideas. There are, I made three groups. And let's start with Angie's group. Angie, you are the first one with, I think it's Emma. So what have you prepared for us? Okay, we work, we work at with uh, teacher, library, librarian, and opponent. Are you ready, Emma? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Good morning, Miss Portillo. How are you? Good morning, Miss Rodriguez. How can I help you? Um, I have a problem. You know, I have the school library, library, and some students don't return some books, and I need your help for that. Okay. Do you have the name of there, of them? Yes, because... I have. Okay. Can you tell me, please? Okay. 
Uh, the first one is Mario Miguel Restinos. The second one is Rosa Paulina Perez. And another one is Edwin Giancarlo Macal. Okay. That's the Thank student. You. Thanks. Right now, I'm going to talk with their parents and I will tell them. Give me okay, a second. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Give me a second. Hello, I'm Miss Portillo. I'm going to talk with Mario's mother. Is she there? Yes. Yes. Hi, good morning. Hello, I really want to talk with you because your son had some books at the library and he didn't return it. And when you receive a book of the library, you have to return it two days, no more. Okay, no, that's not a problem. I'm going to talk with, with him uh, that he will return the book, okay? I compromise you. Uh, he he have to do that. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss Rodriguez, I already talked with a mother of them, and she told me that she is going to return the book. And if you have another problem, you can do it. You are supposed to let me know about it. Okay, no problem. Thank you for your help. Thank you for telling me. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much, uh, girls, for sharing such great example. Thank you, Angie, for playing uh, the role of uh, this scenario. And Emma, thank you so much for playing it too. That was really good. That was good. Let's see reaction for your par partners. Let me see reaction, thumbs up, heart. Okay, Evelyn, clap, spiritual claps, really good. So good one. Let's see, we have like uh, three more minutes or so. Jose Peña and your group, go ahead, please. Okay, okay. If we work with Ho Joelin, Evelyn. Yes. Evelyn, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, so teacher, we just uh, improvise a very, very short uh, conversation yeah. where we try to use the examples. As, so you, as you prefer. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Jose. Uh, how you doing? How are you? Hi, Joel. I'm not really good. I have having, well, I'm having some troubles. Why, man? What happened? Tell me. Uh, well, last night I was driving in a traffic police officer stop me and gave me a ticket and today I don't have wow, and that's... I got money to pay it. That's crazy. And what was the reason? Well I was drunk. Ah oh, dang. When you are driving you're not supposed to be under the effects of alcohol Jose. Yes, I know but you know Evelyn? Evelyn? Jose, you are supposed to follow the rules. Yeah, but from time to time I've broken them. Okay, um, uh, equal, you know, the when you are a police officer, you're not supposed to be fining everyone. No, that's why you're, you were drunk. Yeah, I got it, <laughs> but normal. But something like that, but we are finished. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. That's that's good enough for me. And thank you so much for, for your ideas, guys. I appreciate them, okay? That was really good, actually. Thank you so much. So reactions, reaction for your uh peers guys the ones who were listening okay emma 
Good, I like it. Good. And we finish with the last ones. In here we have Daniel and Gustavo. Okay. Well, with Daniel, we we don't make a, a conversation so like that. We just uh, make the sentence in part. We we can try, Daniel. Yes. We're gonna try. Okay, in this case, uh, about uh, police I, officer. Uh -huh, yes, I, I I try I try to I try to write a uh, a sentence uh, about the police officer. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh, for for example. Uh, yeah. Pero ve la estructura, ¿dónde está? If you want, uh, can I start to uh, convert the conversation? Yes, uh, yes. Um, Gustavo, yesterday uh, I I went I went to San Salvador. Uh, when I when I when I uh, go to to drive uh, around uh, Los Chorros. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the next, the next car uh, for, because I, 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 I stay, I stay watched my, I stay watched my, my cell phone and, and crash the, the next car. And, and then, uh, uh, Quickly, quickly, the, the police, quickly, I, I saw, I saw one police officer. And, and You're not supposed to bribe the police officer, right? Yes, I, I when I, when I watched or what, but when I watched the police officer, uh, uh, I uh, he take he he put he put a, a one ticket for me. He's so terrible, man. Okay, this is our history. <laughs> it's really terrible, right? When you uh, you it's cannot so bribe the, the officer, and but some of they want to get their their money, right? They, yeah. they accept, you know, money. <laughs> in the... Well, guys, thank you so much for your ideas. I really appreciate them. Please try to finish the test. You have like three more hours in case you haven't finished. And uh, well, it was a pleasure for me to share with you this module, this, um, what, last four weeks. Have a great, uh, what, night, and I hope to see you guys around, and take care, and may God bless you so much, okay? Bye-bye, Evelyn, bye-bye, Angie, bye-bye, Jose, Emma, Daniel, Gustavo, and Joel. It was nice meeting you guys, okay? Good night, bye. everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.